All right, we got to ask because we are fast approaching the Super Bowl now. So we're we're about a week out. Um, and shout out to you and Sumer again for you guys put up that big game breakdown, forty pages yeah. of pretty solid in depth analysis of teams, players, all, all all things, all things for both for both teams. So let's talk Super Bowl a little bit real quick. Um, give me one of your high level outcomes or excuse me, predictions for this game. What do you think is going to happen? Who do you think is going to win? Let's start there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I feel like a, a fool for the, the prediction I've been giving out because I, I know by now you should never bet against Patrick Mahomes, but I think I am in this game, honestly. Like, I think I'm going to take the 49ers. And my reasoning is, is like when you look at the specific matchups in this game, the Chiefs really like their, their only weakness is their run defense. Uh, when you look at like the four components, of like how how team the teams have performed this year. And I think that the 49ers rush offense has been so good this year, especially Christian McCaffrey. You should see like a high usage in this game since it's the last game of the season. So like I think he's gonna get a ton of carries in this game and, and be able to run on the Chiefs. And then when you look at like how the different pass defenses match up, the Chiefs play a lot of man coverage and they're probably gonna stick to it in this game. The 49ers have just torn up man coverage this year, especially Brandon Ayuk and George Kittle getting open against man coverage. And the Chiefs also blitz a lot. And the 49ers have been really, really good against the blitz this year. So it's like either is 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 Steve Spangola, who I think is awesome, going to change a lot of his tendencies in this game, even though the Chiefs have been so successful with their pass defense playing his way this entire season, or are they just going to play what they're, they normally do and just kind of have to hope that, uh, you know, the, the 49ers trends don't say the same there. Man. Yeah. I, I mean, we, you know, we, we have a model and we, we output for all the various games. So we're, we're on the Niners this week as well. Um, we predict they're going to, run away with it but i feel the exact same way why how can you bet against patty mahomes at this point like you know we we basically for not not to nope. get too into leads but the, the very first output uh, uh from the model this week was like it gave crazy edge to kansas city and we're like this is this can't be right you know something's not right and come to find out it was effectively like uh the fact that they played they're playing in las vegas kc plays there every year multiple oh, times yeah. and has really kick some ass there a bunch of times so we're like okay this makes a little bit of sense here so you, we do you have to really like adjust somehow for the the, the patty mahomes effect i it's going to be yeah, fascinating to see um i want to you you mentioned spags real quick i want to get your two cents on him i am surprised a little bit that he didn't get much play in the head coaching carousel this year um i don't know because i agree with you they, they they're in this position in large part because of their defense and what he's been able to do um so yeah. i well, yeah what's your, you have any thoughts on that on why he's not getting any love and maybe i'm giving him too much love <laughs> well i think he's i think at this point like he's a fast fantastic defensive coordinator um and i don't know if he necessarily wants to be a head coach where like, I think when, when you're a defensive coordinator for a team led by Patrick Mahomes, you can like try a lot of things, right? Like we've seen Spags, his defenses get better towards the end of the season, basically every season of his, his tenure with, with Mahomes there as quarterback, because you yeah. can, you can try out a lot of what works. It's like the, what Belichick used to do, uh, you know, with the Patriots. So like, I think, I think he's, he's well suited for being defensive coordinator at this point. I think probably his head coaching record, uh, you know, I think where he won like 22% of yeah, his games or something. Yeah, it wasn't good. Like yeah, people. it wasn't good. And then um, he's, he's what, like 65 or something. So I think like he's at the point now where it'd be, it'd be kind of be tough to make him a head coach uh, with his, with his age. But yeah, I, I am with you where like, you would think that he would at least get like the, the agent tweet or something, but he, I guess he doesn't even get that from like Schefter. Uh, that's too bad. Yeah. 